Welcome to Meet and Match digital platform of Linea Pelle Fair. We are here in our smart matching with Manu. Hello, Manu. Hello. Welcome to be here with us at LP Fashion Studio in Milan. Tell us more about your journey. I work with Emma and uh, we founded Baolab, that is a design studio, more or less. It's more a CMF studio. And we work with um, many different clients on many different fields with a double approach. This means you work with uh, materials companies or electronic companies to study colors, materials? We study colors and trends on a macro level and then get down onto materials for electronics, uh, automotive, uh, sometimes fashion accessories mostly, many different fields of application. I know that you are working in electronic. Which materials are you looking for on electronic tools? It's quite a big issue because um, we have two main drivers in terms of, uh, let's say, macro trends that are driven electronics nowadays. And the first one is uh, the relation with nature. So we have a tech nature or something natural tech, it depends. And the other one is um, uh, a more strong feeling uh, of our body and sensoriality and tactility. And these two main uh, drivers are pushed up by the COVID, of course, and it's quite interesting to see what is happening in terms of materials. So this means that when you study an electronic, you need to feel about the touching, the shape, the texture and naturality can be one of the elements incorporated. Talking about nature, it's uh, regarding both an aesthetical languages in electronic devices, both from a technological point of view. So we have new materials that are very connected with the logic of nature in terms of shaping, processing, and also aesthetical aspects. And it's quite interesting to see how do they behave. I think it's really interesting because we live with electronic all day long. Our journey is made by electronic that we touch and we feel. What is missing from the material supplier that propose you new solution? Up to me, what is missing is the second part I was telling before. It's, uh, we need uh, to have a relation, a deep relation, an intimate relation with the objects that surround us. Uh, especially in these days with uh, smart working and all the devices we are going to use, we need to feel them more connected to us. Uh, so I think that mm, materials, new materials and surfaces should talk a little bit more about tactility and relation with the human skin. How can you express the tactility with a textile? You should work for sure on 3D effects, very smooth, or with uh, angle changing uh, light effects or with something metamorphic that can change. We have lots of new innovation on material with memory form and other really interesting innovation in textiles that are the most uh, and hugest word of innovation in these uh, periods. I have one more question. What about the customer of Baolab? Lately, how they change it, the request of material suggestions? I think that they are more and more involved into the design process in terms of paying attention 
not only to quality of performances, but also on how you can tell them to others, to make their products understood by another public. And it's quite an interesting change. I like it a lot. I can feel it. Because this means that who is creating a material has to also understand that this material will become a product and this product will become an object that live with the lives of the final consumer. So this means you need to learn another types of language. That's important, Absolutely. I think. This is really, really important. So Manu, I think it's really interesting that we talk it together. I can't wait to buy some of the electronic with the material studied by you. Let's hope. <laughs> quite soon, maybe in the few years you get something. Trends are quite long in electronics, especially on surfaces. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.